Hi, this is Tyler Ruby. I'm here in Fenton, Michigan in our shop, standing in front of our Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, and we're going to show you how to install Black Forest products today. So inside the box you have your instructions, and carefully packaged, you have two pieces here and we'll show you how to assemble them next. So inside the box you'll, all, you'll notice eight washers and a handful of bolts. You'll want to save those in case you buy the Black Forest slides that go with the base plate because that, that's the hardware that you'll use to install the slides. All right, we have all of our parts laid out nicely on the table so that way we can quickly grab them. And I have Brian Colomore from our technical team here to lend a hand. Here we have this uh, Jeep toolkit that's come standard with most Jeeps. And some of the parts and tools that we don't have are also included with the kit. So here we go. First thing is to fold down the seat. Down. As Brian did that, I grabbed the, the torque wrench out of the tool kit that comes with every, every new Wrangler. Next, we're gonna remove these tie down cleats. You wanna save these, keep them, keep them in the same position because the, the front and the rear are different lengths and you wanna make sure you get them right in the, in, back in the same spot. So you'll wanna remove all four tie down cleats and there are two in the front and two in the rear. So while Tyler's removing the rest of these tie-down cleats, we're gonna prep these brackets before we start installing. Okay, so there's five total leveling feet for installation onto the base plate brackets. These three short ones will actually go in the rearmost bracket. And we'll just finger tighten these down here. Just like so. And there's two longer ones that will go in what we call the front base plate bracket. And then we're ready to install. Let's get back to the Jeep. So bringing in the forwardmost base plate, which forward to the vehicle, we're just gonna line up to where we'll drop in the bolts. And then I'll come around here where I can reach a little bit better. Again, using the same factory bolts that we just took out. The, back, the factory bolts that, that um, are used for the tie down anchor cleats. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down these bolts finger tight because I'll need to adjust the base plate here in a minute. So while Tyler's working on the forward base plate, I'm gonna go ahead and set this rear base plate into position. And same with the front, I'm just going to align them with the rear cleat bolts that we just previously removed. And I'll put these down, thread them down finger tight for alignment later in the installation. Now that we have the rear plate installed, uh, thanks Brian, we're going to adjust the leveling feet that are here. So you can, because we, we left this loose, you can lift up on this slightly and adjust the feet as needed. Tyler, I think we'll bring this side down just a little bit more. We have the base plates level exactly where we want them. We adjusted the feet. Notice that we, we left the floor mat in the rear. That, that does not have to be removed. Because the feet are adjustable, you can leave the floor mat in there. And now, now that we're all level, Brian's gonna go ahead and, and torque down the, uh, the bolts to the correct setting. Thank you for watching us install our Black Forest base plate. See you out on the trail.